let's begin the activity the objective of this activity on parallelogram is that we are going to make a parallelogram by paper folding method second one we are trying to understand the properties of the parallelogram by measuring the sides and angles we'll prove that in a parallelogram opposite sides are equal and parallel opposite angles are equal adjacent angles are supplementary and diagonals bisect each other the materials required for this activity is a4 sheet or a chart sheet a rough page some color pencils scale pencil and a protractor to measure the angles of the parallelogram let's begin first we'll try to draw a parallelogram by paper folding method what is the method instead of a4 sheet or this uh, drawing sheets you can also take some chart sheet no problem some color chart sheet now first step i'm going to fold this anywhere at a convenient length and this crease let me mark it with the pencil mark it with the pencil i'll call this as first line this is line 1 now i want to make a perpendicular line but now how do i make it a perpendicular line you fold it here such that the base of this will coincide with the paper that you have folded so if you fold it like this now this becomes a perpendicular line to it so let the crease be properly visible so that i can draw a line on it so i'm going to mark it by drawing a line with the pencil so this will be the second line that i have got and remember this will be 90 degree because now i want one more line perpendicular to second one so on this fold from this side i'm going to fold it again remember if you want exact perpendicular line these two whenever you fold like this this edge and this edge must coincide this will not be perpendicular now it has to coincide here fold it let's open and mark it let me name it as 3 now first line is parallel to the third line now you fold the paper in such a way that it the folding will come on these two lines that is 1 and 3 see now this fold has cut the line 1 and line 3 so show it with the help of a pencil sketch here so let me call it as 4 i want one more line the fifth line is obtained as again making it a perpendicular when you fold like this this edge and this edge must come on each other open it and let's mark it this is the line right so let's mark it let me call it as the fifth line perpendicular to see this one here now you're going to fold this line here see this and this should coincide this and this should coincide and mark it here let me call it as 6 now our parallelogram is ready here not this above one third and fourth let me call this as the first vertex of the parallelogram a coming straight here this will be b down this is c and this is d so we have got a perfect parallelogram called a b c d again to make it more prominent let me mark it with some bright color fine so a b c d is the parallelogram we have finished with the first step second step is to learn the properties to learn the properties i have to measure the four sides and the four angles so take a rough sheet 
and let's write down the sides here and keep the measure of each side now let me measure a b check here 7.4 so a b is 7.4 centimeter now let me check with d c which is parallel to it d c will also give you 7.4 it is 7.4 centimeter now let's measure ad in this case ad has come 14.5 so ad will be equal to 14.5 and we have to measure bc now bc is also yes it is also 14.5 so bc is 14.5 we have seen that ab and dc ad and bc are opposite sides are equal next we will measure the angles write this first in a rough sheet so that you can later write it correctly there in your a4 sheet so let's measure this angle shall i come to angle a now okay angle a is uh, 100 105 so angle a is 105 remember opposite angles of a parallelogram are all e equal so this should also be 105 uh, 90 100 105 that is angle c is also 105 degrees then you have angle D and B left now. Angle D is 75. Okay, 75. That is angle D is equal to 75 degree. And check the angle B. Angle B also you are getting 75 degree. So we observe that opposite angles are also equal. The next property was adjacent angles adjacent angles should be supplementary see here 105 plus 75 will give you these are adjacent angles isn't it a and d b and c these are adjacent angle 105 plus 75 will give you 180 supplementary is nothing but adding two sides you should get 180 so we have done with that the last property which we need to check is the diagonals bisect each other so draw the diagonals Connecting the opposite vertices, draw the diagonals. Now this part I will leave it to you. That is checking the diagonals. Measure it and write it. Measure AO, write it. And you measure OC and write, which should come same. Similarly, measure OD and OB, which should come same. After you finish doing that much, in a sheet of paper, neatly you write these four properties write the objectives and write the here opposite sides are equal what should you write which are the opposite sides a b is equal to you don't use the pencil when you write it here a b is equal to d c which is equal to 7.4 similarly write the other opposite sides angles adjacent are supplementary that is angle c a plus angle d is equal to 105 plus 75 is equal to 180 and diagonals whether how much it will come you measure both should come same you also cut the parallelogram which you have made using paper folding and stick it to the a4 sheet that is your activity sheet thanks for watching have a great day